Welcome to the Body of Art Show with your host, professional fine artist and holistic art coach, Catherine Lucas. Join Catherine and her expert guests as they share insights and inspiring stories of transformation that will help you develop self-mastery and truly hone your craft. Now, learn to become the masterpiece that you are with your host, Catherine Lucas. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Body of Art Show. I'm your host, Catherine Lucas. Today, I feel compelled to talk about what keeps us from pursuing our passion in life, especially artists, and why pursuing what we love is the most valuable thing that we can offer the world. I get it that life can get in the way of our creative endeavors at times, but it seems lately that I've been running into people who say they always wanted to pursue their art, but didn't because they felt they needed to do something more purposeful with their life. They feel art is a luxury and doesn't add any value to the world. For them, art has been relegated to playtime. Apparently, they devalue the creative impulse within themselves, which is so common in our culture. In today's episode, I want to talk about why creating your art is the most valuable thing you can do for the world. But first, I want to let you know how much I really appreciate you all taking the time out of your busy day to be here. I know your time is precious, and I want to give you as much value as I possibly can during our time together so that you leave feeling inspired and empowered. I also appreciate all the kind and inspiring feedback that so many of you have given me about this show. It truly inspires me to be here with you each time and share any experiences, knowledge, or insights that may help you master your passion. I also invite you to join me on my Facebook page, Holistic Art Coach Catherine Lucas. On this page, you can ask me questions, share your thoughts, accomplishments you achieved, or even challenges that you are facing to gain insights on how to overcome them. I encourage you to post your requests for future topics that you would like to be on the show. Here, I'll post tips, inspirational messages, and ask questions so that we can share and learn from each other. As always, you can connect with me at my website, bodyofart.net. I put a link to my Facebook page on my website, so that's easy for you to find. Now, before we begin, I'd just like to remind you each time that the Body of Art Show is intended for educational, inspirational, and motivational purposes. It's not a substitute for professional medical diagnosis, treatment, or advice. So absorb what resonates with you today and just release the rest. Now, as I've mentioned, I've been running into more people lately who've never pursued their love of art because they felt they should do something more meaningful and purposeful in life. Somehow, they were conditioned to believe that pursuing art was self-indulgent, and many were told to get real or to get a real job. In fact, three individuals that I encountered recently had won full scholarships to art school, but decided not to go due to pressure from their families. One decided to ignore the scholarship altogether and choose a field of study that was considered safe and in demand, almost guaranteeing a job right out of school. Another went halfway through their art program before dropping out to go for a real or serious career in the healthcare field because it contributed something more to society than just making art. The third graduated from their art school but got a job with the government that offered steady pay and good benefits. She didn't believe in her abilities to make a living as an artist and settled for something that was safe and secure. All three feel dissatisfied with their life no matter how successful they are with their careers. They describe feeling empty, bored, uninspired, and one even described feeling that her soul had eroded away. All three were conditioned to believe that art is only a luxury holding no real value. I'm sure many of you artists are artists at heart, out there have heard the all too common, isn't it time you get serious and get a real job? Or you need to be doing something purposeful with your life. It's not all about you. Or even how are you going to make a living as an artist? You can't play forever and so on. Now it's this very attitude that drives the starving artist mindset. And it all boils down to what we have been conditioned to value in life by our families, institutions, and culture. We tend to value activities, careers, or occupations that are directly problem-solution oriented. For example, the role of a doctor is to provide an immediate solution to a pain problem in their patient, 
Or scientists may do research to provide a solution for cleaner energy for the health of the planet. But just because you don't do something that directly heals disease or reduces pollution doesn't mean that it's any less valuable. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do, all forms of expression are valuable. And if you really look at it, all occupations are really problem-solution oriented, including art. In fact, art may be the most valuable thing that you can do for the world. And here's why. Art connects us to our humanity and to each other. Art makes us think more deeply, feel more profoundly, and strive more intently. Art takes us places, whether it's to an exotic land, a place of joy, or even a place of mystery inside ourselves. I remember seeing the majestic landscape painting in the Met by Frederick Church. It felt so pristine. I could smell the crisp, fresh air, the birds singing, even the temperature, which had a soft, sensual quality to it. I wasn't just viewing a landscape. I was experiencing it. I was there. Art expresses things that words just can't say. It shows us what love, desire, empathy, compassion, pain, and heartache looks like. In fact, you don't need language to understand art. No matter what land or culture the art is from, it doesn't need words to communicate to you. Art reaches that deep archetypal recognition within ourselves that goes beyond words. Essentially, art eliminates communication barriers between people. Art, above all else, inspires and reflects our highest state as human beings. Art is what sets us apart from other species and it elevates us to the state of the divine through inspiration. I believe it's one of the most important components of a sound, harmonious culture making us whole, dynamic, and connected. Art elevates consciousness and I firmly believe that when everybody functions from their highest creative state, the world becomes a better place. Just imagine a world without paintings, music, plays, movies, books, or even fine cuisine. This would make us feel dull and purposeless no matter what occupation we serve because there would be no real pleasure in life. Having no culture, we'd be bored out of our minds and completely uninspired. To be inspired is to be in spirit and it's from this place that we're at our best and can offer our best. Picasso summed it up perfectly when he said, the purpose of art is washing the dust of daily life off our souls. So there you have it. Creating art is the most valuable problem-solution occupation there is, not only for our well-being, but for the well-being of the planet. It cleanses our souls and elevates us to the state of the divine. And it's from this place that we live in harmony within ourselves and with each other. Now I just want to mention one more thing about the three artists I encountered. They're still haunted by the artist ghost within. There's an angst in their hearts and a surrender to the belief that it's too late to start or restart their art. But there's nothing further from the truth here. No matter how long it's been, how old you are, or where you are in your life right now, you can begin anew with your art. In my next episode, I'll get into how to restart your art after a long absence, or even if you're just going to start your art for the first time. One thing I can offer you right now, though, is just to make time to look at art. This is a great way to reignite your creative spark. Make a date with yourself or with a friend and visit a museum or gallery. Looking at art books while enjoying a good cup of coffee or tea is another great way to shift toward the creative mode. You don't always have to be doing art to be creatively engaged. Engaged minds and eyes that are absorbing inspiration is part of the creative act, too. I like to say that I'm always painting whether I'm wielding a brush or taking a hike. There are ways to get art back into your life and I'll give you steps on how to do that next time. Now as we wrap up today's show, I just want to impart to you that art is essential for the human spirit. As human beings, we're wired to create and creative expression is the thing that allows us to truly thrive in life. We are creative life force and we're here to express ourselves. All the spiritual and religious traditions communicate that God, source, or divinity lives within us. As such, the divine creative impulse surges through us, and when we're living the inspired life, our health and wealth follow suit. So no matter what age you are or where you are in your life, you can reconnect to your art and not only make it part of your life again, but you can continually evolve it. 
Well, I want to thank you all again for listening to the show today. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here and would love to hear any comments you have about today's episode. You can do this by subscribing to The Body of Art Show on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, or TuneIn Radio and leave any comments there. I invite you to leave your review and ratings on iTunes as well. Don't forget to join me on my Facebook page, Holistic Art Coach Catherine Lucas, to let me know what you think about today's episode. And remember, you can always connect with me on my website, bodyofart.net. That's spelled B-O-D-Y-O-F-A-R-T dot N-E-T. Here you can find all of my previous episodes and opt in for my podcast sign-up. That way, every show will be sent directly to your inbox so that you don't have to go looking for it each time. Meanwhile, please stay tuned for our next episode on how to restart your art, even if decades have gone by. Until next time, I want to leave you with this one masterpiece of insight by art educator Robert Henry. He said, The object isn't to make art, it's to be in that wonderful state which makes art inevitable. On that note, I empower you to take charge of your art and become the masterpiece that you are. You've been listening to The Body of Art Show, hosted by Catherine Lucas. The Body of Art Show has been brought to you by Body of Art Enterprises Incorporated, your source for individualized art mentorship and coaching. Our mission is to educate and support aspiring artists to step into their own personal power and master their passion. To learn more, go to bodyofart.net.